So let's go back to our application. You'll notice it is just the main window and it has got no title. It basically it just resizes to anything you want. So let's just go ahead and uh, make it a little bit more firm. So for that just go to our program and uh, in the constructor we need to do some changes. First of all if you want you can set a minimum size to the frame and you can as well as you can set a maximum size of the frame. So if you want your application to take the whole screen you can leave it without giving any maximum size. However if you want to limit your application to a minimum size for that you can you can write frame dot set minimum size so the minimum size method accepts a dimension and uh, you can't provide directly the width and height uh, of the window so for that we need to create a new dimension type new space and create a dimension So inside the dimension, now you can provide whatever minimum size you want. So let us just set it to 100, 100. This will be the minimum size. Application will start with 300 by 300. However, you can resize it to a minimum size of 100 by 100. So if you run the program now, you'll see our application has started with a size of 300 by 300. However, you can resize it to a minimum of 100 into 100 however you can maximize it to any size you want so it can take the whole screen estate so so if you run the program again you will notice that there is no title for our main window you can set a title by simply passing a string in the constructor of the JFrame so let us just type swing JFrame and save it. Let's run it. And you will notice this time our application will start with a title. So this is the super easy way to set the title however in case you want and you don't want to initialize the JFrame with a title you can also set it by typing frame dot set title method which does the same thing if you all you need to do is like passing a string let's type string frame again So because of this line, it will set the title uh, from swing J frame to swing frame again. So let us just go ahead and compile it. So you will see that our application will start with swing frame again as we have written it here. You can use any method you want. However, I will go with the first one because they are easy. So I'm going to comment it out and leave the code to the bottom. In case I need to use it later so we have seen how to create a frame and how to set a size and how to set it visible so that is a screen of code so this is all it takes for you to create a application frame using swing packages